The basic building blocks which make up all drawings, no matter how sophisticated, are just lines, shapes and photos, which collectively we sometimes call objects. Drawings are made from dozens, hundreds and sometimes thousands of separate objects. I can draw lines with tools available in this toolbar. So here I'm using the freehand tool to draw a line, just as I would with a pencil. Solid shapes like this one are made from a line which is closed. That is the end and the start, joined to enclose a shape like this. The number one most used tool is the selector tool. This one tool is used to move, resize and rotate anything on your page. You can just click and drag to move any object. When you click an object it becomes selected and shows these resize handles around the outside. The status line shows what is selected as well as giving very useful prompts as to what you can do with the object. By dragging on these corner resize handles you can enlarge or reduce its size. If you click again on the object the resize handles turn into rotate handles. Now if you drag on a corner handle you can rotate the object. It's all very simple so I can use a combination of resize and rotation very quickly and easily. No menus and no dialogues required. You'll notice that as I change each tool this area at the top changes depending on the tool I've selected. This is what we call the info bar and it provides the controls for the selected tool. You can change the thickness of lines by first selecting the object and then choosing the line thickness from the drop down menu here or you can type any value. Traditionally line thickness is measured in points but you can enter values in any unit you like. So if I enter 0.5 centimeters and press return the line becomes half a centimeter thick but it always shows you the value in points here so half a centimeter is just over 14 points. Every new object I draw is created on top of the earlier ones so you can see as I drag this shape it appears on top of the other shapes and this object is under the others. I can change the order by using the arrange menu option so I select put to back or type control B and now this object is behind all the others.